Okay guys, welcome back to the channel today, talking about a lease purchase through CRST Malone or the flatbed division, however they want to call it, CRST flatbed division. So, I've uh, been driving local, got a Class A CDL, for the last couple years I've been driving local, before that I did drive flatbeds uh, for Boyd Brothers and some other companies over the road, looking to get back into it but not as a company driver. So, I've been looking to get uh, do a lease purchase because I don't really got the money to go out and buy a truck, but I've been doing research on it. So, I went out, watched a couple videos. This is like two weeks ago. I watched a couple videos and we're going to run numbers. I'm going to run numbers. This is what I've come up with so far about the CRST Malone or CRST flatbed division lease purchase. So anyways, I've been talking to a couple guys on YouTube, I messaged them and stuff like that, talking to them about uh, the lease purchase. They've doing, they're doing the lease purchase and I've been getting numbers off of them guys. <clears throat> I've been running numbers and trying to get an idea of what it's going to cost me weekly to lease, per, lease a truck off of CRST Malone. So I got a bunch of numbers here. Uh, like I said, I talked to a couple guys. They've been giving me numbers. One of the guys is an owner operator, so he don't actually, he leased two CRS team alone. So his numbers are way different, but I have talked to a couple other ones that are actually leasing the truck through them. Uh, they have, some of them been there like a year, so they got like a year, year and a half. From what I understand, it's a, it's a two and a half year lease purchase program. You pay the truck for two and a half years, then it's yours. It is a used truck and on the website, I went to the website and it says um, payments as low as $450 a month, but I actually haven't talked to anybody that has a payment of $450. What I'm seeing is between $500 and $600 a month, or a week, not a month, a week, $500, $600 a month. The website says $450 a week, not a month. But what I'm seeing is most of them is coming in between five and $600 about five and usually it's like the ones I've seen is 525 550 and 575 but we'll do five and five to six this to give ourselves a ballpark like I said I got a bunch of numbers here we're gonna work the numbers and we're gonna see what it's gonna cost on a weekly basis this is your weekly fixed expenses this comes out and I think they were saying it comes out every Tuesday I haven't spoken to a recruiter I got their number I plan on calling them next week um, but I wanted to get a bunch of numbers from actual drivers doing it their actual numbers so i can compare them because you know talking to a recruiter they're going to tell you what sounds good maybe they not i don't know we'll find out when i call them next week and see what they got so here we go so truck payments between five and six hundred a week okay trailer rent uh you're going to run a trailer it's 185 a week you got bobtail insurance that's $70 a week. You got tags and permits. That's $53 a week. So uh, CRST Malone or CRST Flatbed Division or CRST altogether, whatever, has a maintenance fund that you pay into. You're going to pay 15 to 25 cents for every mile you run. And that's going to go into your, it's going to go into a maintenance account. And basically that's where they get there. They say they have a bumper to bumper maintenance account. Everything, anything breaks down while you're lease purchasing. They cover it, that's where it comes in at because you're paying money into that. And so that's every week. Every mile you run, you're paying 15 to 25 cents. So I took 20 cents, I took the middle and figured you're gonna run an average of about 2,000 miles a week for a ballpark in this, that's 400 bucks. So $400 a week is gonna go into your maintenance account. Now, it's gonna be different every week, obviously. More miles, if you run more miles than that, it'll be more, you run less miles, it's gonna be less, but 2,000 is a good ballpark range. The next thing you got is $166 a week into an escrow account. But that's only till you get 2,000 into the escrow account. Now, this is what a couple of the drivers said. I'm not exactly sure what the escrow is or why you're paying that, but it's $166 a week till you get $2,000 and that's done. That's basically 12 weeks. So after 12 weeks, that 166 drops off, but you want to pay it for the first 12 weeks. Um, security equipment, here's another big one. Security equipment, 
$2,800 for the flatbeds. They take out $75 a week for 45 weeks. It's basically a year. It's 40, 45, 46, something like that. But you end up paying $3,500 when it's all said and done. It's $2,800 and then they got a $600 or $650, I don't know, interest. It's not interest, but we'll just call it interest. So it's labeled as $2,800, $2 $2,850, but you're going to spend another $650. So when it's all said and done, you're going to pay $3,500. After 45 weeks, that'll come out. So the $75 a week and the $166, basically after your first year, that's $242 that you'll pay less on your weekly expenses. And then you got your, the other three that I don't know exactly what it is, is they got a trans flow. They got a, uh, you're gonna pay a weekly amount for that. You're gonna have your electronic logs, you're gonna pay a weekly amount for that. And you got your satellite, and you're gonna pay a weekly amount for that. It can't be much. I ran the numbers, and I'm thinking it's right around each one. I mean, it could be different, but it's gonna average out to about $14 each a week on all three of those and I think that's everything I might have missed something like I said I'm still doing research uh, still doing a lot of um, looking in to see what's going to cost but this is what I got so far so with all that so you add all that together minus the truck payment I just want to do this real quick minus the truck payment that's $950 a week coming out so your truck payment is going to be between five and six hundred a week just throw whatever number you want to throw in there if it's five hundred a week it jumps up to 1450 a week if it's six hundred a week it's 1550 so anywhere between 1450 and 1550 with a truck payment everything coming out that's your fixed expenses Unless there's something else I missed, and that could be. Like I said, we're still doing research, so we'll find out about that. After the 12 weeks and the 45 weeks, basically after your first year, that 242 is going to drop off, and it's going to drop that down to basically 1200 to 1300 depending on your truck payment, 5 to 600 525 550 whatever the number is. But between 500 and 600 your weekly expenses will be 1200 to 1300 after the 166 and the escrow. And a 75 a week for the security equipment. The only other thing that's going to come off is your truck payment. And whenever that comes off, whatever you're paying, that's going to be more money in your pocket. But it's whatever number it is, five to six hundred. To subtract the the twelve to thirteen hundred, subtract five or six hundred, and that puts you down to right around seven hundred. Uh, nothing else is going to come off unless you buy a trailer. Um, but at 185 a week. You know, and you don't have to worry about maintenance. They're going to kind of take care of anything that goes wrong with that. It's kind of a hard deal to beat, but you decide on that. So that's where we're at right now with everything that I've found so far. Unless there's something else on there that I'm missing, then it could be. We're looking at, with a truck payment, if your truck payment is 500 it's $1,450. If your truck payment is 600 it's $1,550. It'll fall in that area, $1,450 to $1,550 a week, fixed expenses, that's not counting fuel. And the reason I didn't do fuel, I was going to do fuel, I got to look more into it because there's a fuel surcharge that you get, and I'm not exactly sure how that works. I think it's every load, and I'm not sure how they figure that out, and there's really no way to know, for me to know anyways. Right now, I have to look into it more on how that works. But I do know you do get a fuel sur surcharge, so... You're not paying full price for fuel. That's going to be another video. I'll do a lot more research on that. This is just me trying to do research to find out if it's going to be worth it for me to go this route. And like I said, 1400 to 1500 um, The next thing you got to look at is loads. What are the loads paying? Or what I need to look at is what are the loads paying? And how much can I make? Um, and that's, it's going to be hard to look at that because, you know, you're just going by what, if people are going to tell you, like if you're talking to one of these drivers out there, if they're giving you the real numbers, you, I don't know if they're giving me real numbers or not, you know, is freight going to drop off in a month and the bottom just fall out of it? That's possible. Anything is possible. But that's where we're at. CRST, flatbed lease purchase. 
and just doing a bunch of research, trying to do my homework, trying to figure out, trying to get everything. I don't want to jump into this because when I first seen the videos, I think it was about two weeks ago, I seen a couple videos about this, and I was like, man, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm calling them. I'm going to start next week. And then I watched a couple more videos, and I thought, yeah, you know something? I better start running some numbers and getting an idea of, you know, I was just thinking truck payment, trailer payment, or trailer rent or whatever, uh, insurance, tags, and permits. And that's what I was figuring. I, thought, I didn't think, I didn't know about the maintenance. I didn't know about the escrow. I didn't know about the transflow, the electronic logs, the satellite, the, the security equipment. All that stuff has to come out, you know. So that's stuff that if I had just jumped into it when I got down there, they'd have started adding all this other stuff. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's all this stuff? Because you didn't do your homework. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to make a decision here the next couple weeks, hopefully, have an idea of what's going on. I'm going to call that recruiter next week. It's it's Friday night late. I, I doubt they're in on the weekends. I wait till Monday. I'll give them a call. I'm going to see if they'll send me a, uh, a paper or send me something of all the fixed um, weekly payments or monthly. I can break it down for monthly. It doesn't matter. Monthly or weekly stuff that's coming out and see if I missed anything. If I get it from them exactly what they're taking out and how much they're taking out, then I have it exactly from them. Then I know exactly what the weekly cost to um, or what the weekly is going to come out or how much is going to come out each week to cover everything before I start making money. And then the other thing I got to figure out, and I don't know how to do it yet. I got to go watch some more videos. Um, it's a learning process. How much it costs a week. Is it weekly or monthly? I think it's weekly. How much it costs a week. How much it's going to cost a week to operate your truck. And that's going to be a cent mile, whether it's, a, uh, whether it's 95 cents a mile or $2 a mile. That, it, that's something that I got to sit down and figure out how to do. And I'm sure it's not that hard. I just haven't really looked into it that much. I was more worried about what my fixed expenses was going to be. And then your fuel is not a fixed expense. And see what else comes out that's not a fix. Like fuel will come out. What else? Of course, any kind of maintenance or anything like that's going to come out. Um, that's not a fixed and that's not going to be a solid number. You can write down and say, yeah, every week this much in fuel and every week this much in maintenance and every week or whatever the other stuff is. But we're just looking at the fixed expenses that comes out. I think the guy, one guy told me it comes out every Tuesday. So every Tuesday they're going to take all this stuff out. I'm not sure how that, if they take it out of like your bank account, if you give them like a thing and they just like a bill where it comes out or they take it out of your, the money there that you're making from the loads. I'm not sure how that works. That's something else I got to find out about. If, if like if you like it's paying a bill or you give them basically a card and every week they take it out of your bank account or it comes out of like the settlement, like you run X amount of loads last week or whatever and then out of that money they take it out. I'm not sure how that exactly works. Like I said, we're still looking into that. But we're 13 minutes in. If you are a CST uh, flatbed lease operator, go into the comment section. Let me know and see if there's anything I missed. See if I got wrong. See if any of the numbers that I got don't line up with the numbers that you're actually pulling. Because, like I said, I'm just going through and talking to or trying to talk to as many of these flatbed lease purchase guys as I can and trying to get the real numbers and get an idea of what it's going to cost to do this. So that's it. Uh, like I said, 13 minutes in, that's enough. We rambled enough. Go into the comment section and let me know what you think about this. If you think this is a good deal, if you've ever worked for CRST, you know, uh, the flatbed division, they do, do got a van division. And it's the same thing, but I think it's kind of separate. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully in another couple days or next week or something, I'll make another video when I talk to the recruiter and kind of hopefully can line my numbers up against the numbers they actually got. The numbers they're going to say it's going to cost or whatever. If they send it, they might not send that to me. But if they do, then I'll have their paper laid against it and I'll be able to redo these numbers and get an actual true number of what it's going to cost and then you make a better decision that way. So, okay, guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.